Honourable Member for Lambton, Kent, Middlesex. Mr. Speaker, it's been reported that the U.S. Trade Representative is contemplating putting protectionist measures on Canadian blueberries. The BC Blueberries Council has been forced to hire a legal team because of this government's routine trade relations blunders. The worst part about this, Mr. Speaker, is that farmers from the West Coast in the Fraser Valley and the East Coast in Oxford, Nova Scotia, have never been a priority for the Prime Minister. What exactly does this government intend to do to prevent escalation in trade relations with our closest ally and trading partner? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank the Honourable Member for that uh, question. And I want to assure her, and indeed all Canadian farmers, producers, the agri-food industry, that Canada will always stand up for you. Our government is concerned about the decision, the U.S. decision, to launch the Global Safeguard investigation on fresh and frozen blueberries. Our agricultural products and exports are not contributing to harming the U.S. market, and Canada expects the U.S. to respect the new NAFTA safeguard provision. So rest assured that we're going to actively participate in this safeguard investigation to defend the interests oh, of our you'll have to call industry. Me after. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Honourable um, uh, Minister of Diversity, I, your, your, your microphone is on. Thank